Hi and welcome to my channel. So we're going to be talking about switching a UK student visa or any temporary visa in the UK to a work visa, which means we're switching to a permanent UK work visa. What are the companies that you can switch through and what are the points that you should consider? The reason why I'm talking about this is because I deal with people every single day that are going through these, you know, changes. And so I think I've got the experience, I've got the knowledge, you know, if I can say so myself, to be able to talk about this particular topic. So if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber as usual, I do appreciate your time. If you haven't joined this family, take this opportunity right now to hit the subscribe button below because you want to be the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here at 10 a.m. prompt UK time. Obviously, we're going to talk about what you should look out for, the companies, the chances, the data, because look, data is something that I'm obsessed with data. When I'm doing anything, I'm looking at the Office for National Statistics. I'm looking on the NHS website. I'm looking at the UK visa and border agency. What does the data say? How many people are applying for X visa? How many people are successful? What are the visas with the highest chances? Who are the people that succeed through those applications? Because I need to know that information considering that I've got a private career coaching program where I support people through this process. I need to know the data so that I can give, you know, fair recommendations and to focus on what really matters because you don't want to spend so much time focusing on what doesn't matter. So also, you know, that's what we're going to talk about. And then one thing I'm going to say is, oh, by the way, if you're new here and you're not aware, you know, I do have a free newsletter I've dropped the link in the comment section below where you can join it's completely free it was not going to take you 20 seconds to join you drop your name and email and you're part of that newsletter so that I send that information directly to your inbox when it becomes available many of these opportunities have a very limited time to apply and if you're sat there thinking oh when is it opening this 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 I send that information to you so that you're aware and you're not reliant on the YouTube algorithm for such vital information that is crucial for your personal and professional development. You're also going to find my contact details in the comment section. That's my email address as well as my, you know, WhatsApp number. So that if you need to call me to talk about, you know, your own personal circumstances, then that's fine. Because it's all good and fine to do YouTube videos like this. But they're very generic and not really tailored to a particular person. Because I'm just talking from a case of, well watch out, you know, if you find yourself in these circumstances. So what is the biggest, in fact, from my experience dealing with all of this, I'm going to tell you that there is one thing that nothing else beats that one thing. Guess what that is? Time. Leave a comment in the comment section below and say, Melvis, I will implement this because it gives you that focus. It gives you that push. It gives you that extra bit of courage and energy to say, look, I need to stand up and be able to pursue my dreams. Nobody will do that for you. People can talk, you can watch YouTube videos, but at the end of the day, you need to make that effort individually to succeed. And that's one thing that social media is very dangerous because if you're following the, the crowd and at the end of the day, you're going to go home alone. You're going to lay down in bed. And if you don't have visa sponsorship, that's going to be you. You don't want to be in that situation, especially if you're watching my videos, because I share all this information on here so that you are aware. If you need support, by the way, I have my private career coaching program because, you know, I've gone through these processes myself. If you're not aware, I started as a carer, you know, in a nursing home. I then started nursing in the UK. So I've gone through the whole student visa thing. I switched to a work visa, you know, upon successful completion. I then went back to uni. I did a mentorship in nursing, um, you know, master's course, which was apprenticeship. So I was paid. And my employer paid my tuition fees for that. I then went back to university again to do my master's in advanced clinical practice for three years. And again, I was paid a lot of money to study that. I like to share this because many people don't know what's possible in this country. When, when many of us are making the effort to come to the UK, it's because of the opportunities. But when you eventually get here, you cannot relax. You have to take advantage of those opportunities. That's why they're there. And when it comes to apprenticeships, so you're paid to work and study at the same time, people are like, hey, Melvis, you know, can I do these apprenticeships? Because is it public funds? Well, like I say, I was on visa sponsorship when I did my first apprenticeship. So, you know, I'm a living proof. I'm a living witness. If you haven't seen anybody who's done an apprenticeship, because I know career progression is something that not many people really will get to do that. But 
it is possible. I did an apprenticeship while I was on visa sponsorship. That's why I'm sharing this experience. First, an experience that I've had. It's all about who deserves what. What is your performance at the interview? That's what they're interested in. Because if you see a candidate that is good, that deserves an opportunity, that's what the UK is good. They'll give it to you and give you the sponsorship that is needed so that you can undertake that because you want good quality employers. So again, the one thing, like I was saying, is time. And so if you're keen to find out more information about my private coaching program, you can either just contact me or check the about section of this channel or the description box below and you'll be able to see more information about it. But like I said, if you want to know what is in this for you, you can contact me directly. But it's for less than 1% of people here. I like to stress this because in its effort, in its work, in its commitment, in its that you show up, but that's what's needed in life to succeed. Nobody has been successful without doing anything, especially those of us that are first generation immigrants that have inherited nothing here in the UK and were starting everything from zero. You've got to put in the effort, not only for yourself, but for your future generations. That's how I look at it. I don't want my kids to go through what I've gone through. So you should think in the same way. If you really want to leave a legacy, not only within the community, but in your own family, when you think about your kids, your spouse, what sort of a life are you giving them now? But what sort of a life would you want to leave for them? That's the way that I think. And when you think that way, you're going to always make the right decisions. So time is the biggest factor. The earlier you start applying, if you need to switch, the better. Don't sit and think, oh, my visa expires in one year, so I've got time. Before you know it, the time is going to be gone. So the biggest thing is time. Then when it comes to the companies, obviously, what are the companies that offer visa sponsorship to switch? I Again, looking at the data, because this is all data driven, you know, it's something that, by the way, if you're enjoying this content, hit the like button. It lets me know you enjoy content like this and obviously I should do more. Also share this video, obviously, with your friends, your loved ones, your colleagues that you know that can benefit from this um, so that they're aware of this and they can take the right steps so that they don't get stranded, you know, towards the end and be tempted to get into illicit affairs, if you can call it that. So again, when it comes to companies that are recruiting, data shows that over 98% of people that switch within the UK are switching to healthcare. Like this is the data, which means that you've got all other sectors, but in fact, 99% of international students that switch are switching to healthcare. The government data says that less than 1% of international students that study in the UK ever get a job in the sector in which they have studied. That is a staggering, a staggering statistic, which means that you're going to pay tuition fees. The average is about £17,000 per year and less than 1% of those people. And guess what? People are graduating with very good grades. It's not a matter of grades because if it was about grades, international students are the best. I'm saying this without any bias. We are smart, we're intelligent, we're very academic, but the problem is that the jobs that offer visa sponsorship in the UK are not necessarily the things that we get to study. And it's very, very challenging then to get a job in your sector. By the way, if you want me to do videos on the courses that you can do that are going to guarantee visa sponsorship because there are, please leave a comment in the comment section. I'm more than happy to share details about that with you because it's crucial that if you're coming to study, you know exactly what to choose very crucial information. If you're part of my private coaching program, we go through this during our live sessions on Thursdays where we meet up from 8.30 p.m. UK time. We go through all these details to make sure that if you're considering the student route, you know exactly what to do. And I can also go through that thoroughly with you. What are the best courses for you? What are your career goals, your aspirations, your dreams? What is the best thing for you to pursue? And I can also support you, obviously, to apply, support you with personal statements, everything that you need to make that journey much smoother. But like I say, you always need to be part of the process and make sure that you know what is going on. Because at the end of the day, it's your future, it's your life, it's your career. And rightfully so, you've got to be accountable, take charge, be part of that journey. So when we know that it's healthcare, then yes, that's what it's going to be. So healthcare organizations, GP surgeries, you know, you've got um, care homes you can apply through. You've got domiciliary care companies. You've got NHS. That's my all-time favorite because there's no drama, you know. And also with career progression, the NHS is absolutely fantastic. With funding, when it comes to apprenticeship, the NHS is also spot on because it's government. And 
you know, the government has money, obviously. I mean, it's you and I have money, by the way, because we're paying taxes. <laughs> and so the government is able to fund um, initiatives that private organizations aren't able to. For example, if you're a private company and you need a nurse, you can just recruit somebody who's already a qualified nurse and pay them more. But with the NHS, they would fund you to study nursing and all of that. And these are massive opportunities in the UK that many of us do not explore. Please you need to step up and explore those opportunities. So if you're switching to a permanent visa, healthcare, according to data, has the highest chances for you to succeed. There are other people that switch to other things, but it's less than 1% according to the official data from the Office of National Statistics and from UK universities. So don't look at the employability rate on the university website because that's the one what's going to get your job. That's a university saying, hey, we offer a 99% employability. That's not true for most of those courses. The real life happens when you've graduated and you need visa sponsorship. It's, you know, so it's about time starting early, not leaving everything till last minute. And so if you've really enjoyed this content, obviously, like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel because when I'm sharing these opportunities, I want you to be the first person that is aware. I want you to succeed. I want you to excel. I want you to do well. I want us to succeed together because it takes so much effort to get to this country. And it's a shame to miss those opportunities that it has to offer. But obviously, life is very, you know, time is limited. And so I can only really offer one-to-one -one guidance to those people who are members of my coaching program. I'm very open about this. I mean, that's how, what I do. And so um, if you're part of the less than 1%, yes, it's less than 1% of people here, then consider joining or get in contact with me. Um, otherwise, keep watching video after video after video. And... Happy days, you know, happy days. So I hope you've learned something from this. If you need more info about anything, drop that in the comment section and I'll see you in this video.